So, all right, we're gonna run through a, another quick tutorial here on how to set up your radios. So your com comms, how to talk to people in SRS if you've got it, or how to contact uh, tankers, contact the tower, contact the carrier, use your radios to talk to other people or use the uh, F10 menu. So what we're gonna quickly cover is the keybinds real quick. So we're gonna go just controls right here. And the keybinds you're after, uh, Com switch one, com switch com one, and com switch com two. Okay, so bind those to whatever you want to use. Okay, so I use left control one, left control two. That's what I use. But up to you. Default right alt plus uh, backslash and right control plus backslash is the uh, default ones. But you can use whatever you want. So that's the two that we're after. And it's pretty straightforward. So here's our comms right here. So we've got com one, com two. Okay, COM2 is on this side, COM1's on this side. So we're going to go through a couple of things now. So we've got obviously the uh, the channel and we can use the mouse wheel. So you can set preset channels. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can set these up in the mission editor if you want or you can set them up manually up to you. So all it is, so generally when you're in a server, the uh, AWACS is most probably gonna be on 251. I don't have an AWACS in here. So I legit just put a jet on the ground, which you can quickly run through. So to put the code in, press the button or this little uh, this little guy here right here. Press that to select the appropriate radio. And then we're gonna go two, five, one, one, two, three. So you gotta make sure you put the whole thing in, two, five, one, and press enter, and then it is saved. So if we go to COM2, or sorry, channel two on COM1, and then go back to COM1, it is saved at there, two, five, one. And then you can do the same thing here. So we're gonna go two, five, one, let's go five, five, zero enter to save and there we go so you can see as we go back to there it saves at 251.550 and then to bring up your comms menu when you're flying along so when you press it make sure if you're trying to use com1 it says com1 okay com1 is what you're after so let's actually let's uh quickly we'll just call up batumi batumi tower because they will talk so to get the radio frequencies of the towers if you want to use the towers is in the F10 menu scroll in on the actual airfield click on it go to aerodrome data so this is click on the little blue uh, airfield and then in your ATC we've got it there so we can either use 4.25 4.250 131.000 40.400 or 260 we're gonna go 260 all right so we'll set this here to so go to page 2 two six zero one two three enter so now we're gonna go boom so now we've got com one selected and we're gonna say request taxi to Enjoy. runway Enfield. One, one. Request taxi to runway and if this worked we should have uh, Batumi should reply back say cleared taxi but it probably won't because it's a piece of shit <laughs> but that's there we go lovely that's how it's done boys that is how you do it all right, clear the taxi to runway 31, and then off you go. So that's how you contact the uh, aircraft carriers, contact AWACS, contact uh, the air refuelers, or you can set your comms up if you've got SRS working. You can set your comms up so you can talk to your mates on SRS as well. All right, that's it, guys. Straightforward and simple. Catch you on the next one.